Hi, I'm Victor and I'm going to uh, show you my workflow on roads uh, with Dynamo in Revit, roads that follow topostrophers. Uh, today I'm going uh, I'm going to use uh, more complex uh, topography and see if uh, my Dynamo definition could uh, deal with uh, complex uh, topography so here is my topography and I'm going to plan view and I'm going to uh, start with a uh, simple rectangle again something uh, I don't know maybe something like this see it's the silicon valley here uh, so <laughs> just uh, in order to select uh, my eyes I'm going to hide this thing out like this I'm going to dynamo select my lines and again Select my top surface like this and run it. Let's see. It's gonna be thinking uh, a lot more from the previous time because uh, the time for calculating more complex topography is uh, much uh, longer. But uh, as you see, not too much. It uh, it's decent. Let's see in 3D. Okay, as you can see, there are some glitches because it's uh, 3D curved, like here. Uh, the definition is using only the border lines, the border points, to create uh, the floor and when you have a 3D curve like this uh, this thing is higher than the two borders uh, it's gonna give you glitches like this so let's try to change this So my lines I'm going to rotate them ninety degrees like this and see what happens. Uh, maybe extend this line a little and I'm going to try something uh, different. I don't know if this is going to work correctly like this and I don't know like that mm. I really don't know what I'm trying to do <laughs> right now maybe something like this so let's offset it uh, say uh, 600 centimeters for a nice road oh it's too much uh, 300 i say it's going to be just uh, one way like this like this maybe and let's uh, fillet some lines here like this like this I think this is going to calculate a lot of time but uh, let's see what happens I, I don't really know what's going to happen right now maybe maybe it's going to be too complex for uh, this definition so we have to check if all of our lines are here Okay, 
in order to select the line separately I'm going to open the 3D view like this open my dynamo select model lines like this and run it I hope for the best this is going to take for a while and this is live so it's thinking I have crossed my fingers. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what is this, but. Oh. Please don't crash, Revit. Don't crash. Okay, it didn't crash. So let's see. And it did a pretty decent work here as well pretty decent work it kind of resembles the Eiffel Tower <laughs> from certain angles <laughs> okay so this is it for now uh, I think I'm going to create another video uh, showing a different approach for topography and thanks for your attention, goodbye!